This video is sponsored by E-Win Racing Gaming Chair. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can get your hands on a sweet deluxe gaming chair. Hey guys, the Firebird is here. It's just me. My brother couldn't be here today because he was simping for Black Arachnia. Hey, it was either that or Pokimane. Anyways, these are the jokes. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Today, we're gonna be talking about Mirage and how Mirage is the one character in the movies that actually legitimately got away, aka did what Sideswipe couldn't do, survive. I know, it seems crazy, but in reality he did survive the movies, and there's actually evidence for that, which I can't say the same thing about Sideswipe. Now, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because not only do I always get people asking me if Sideswipe's alive or not, and I always gotta, you know, um, present the evidence and explain to people that unless they're gonna magically bring him back like barricade he is not coming back okay he's not coming back then there's the whole fact that Rust the Beast and the Bumblebee movie are pretty much reboots so you know we're not gonna see Sideswipe come back but people still like to speculate whether he got away or not if he survived the events post Dark of the Moon and I always went on to say this, but there's evidence saying that Sideswipe did not survive the events of Dark of the Moon. But you know who you could, in fact, say survived the events of Dark of the post Dark of the Moon movie landscape? Mirage. There's actually quite a bit of evidence pointing to this guy being alive, and it shocks me that there's not enough people talking about it. Hey guys, I your own fire here, and today I'll be explaining why. Wait, where is where is yeah, why Sideswipe did not survive the movies but mirage did i also have my gaming chair right here it's really cool go get one you said probably cool it even comes in mirage colors anyways so let's talk about why mirage is alive or well why there's evidence pointing to the fact that he's alive first of all there's no confirmation that he died post dark of the moon which i know it seems like the same thing you could throw for Sideswipe, but for Sideswipe there's like pieces of evidence like the um, European top collector cards which basically state that he got you know hunted down by Cementary Wind. But for Mirage, we actually have quite the opposite. In the year 2019, uh, Attinger's playing cards of you know the other us in the South Dakota that were hunted down by Cementary Wind were sold on a prop auction. And the person who acquired them like gave us images of the playing cards which contain most of the cards that we saw in the film. Now here you can clearly see Optimus Prime and Bone, we are, you know, still a large. Characters like Starscreen and Shockwave and Megatron are clearly dead. But we see the card from Mirage and he's alive. Now these are the same cards that Adinger uses like at the beginning of the film. So by this point, we do know for a fact Leadfoot has been killed, Ratchet will be hunted down in a few scenes later, and you know, after that, Cemetery Wind will be, you know, uh, disbanded by the end of the movie, replaced with the TRF by the time of the last night. So this is our first piece of evidence pointing to the fact that Mirage is alive. Our second piece of evidence is not really like something that reinforces the fact that he's alive, but it's something that people who like to say that Mirage is dead like to present as legitimately conclusive evidence that Mirage is in fact dead when he really is not and that is the fact that he got turned into a KSI drone. Trust Theories made a video about this and while I really do like his reasoning I honestly respectfully <laughs> uh, Trust Theories if you're watching this I don't hate you I like your videos we should collab again sometime anyway thanks. I, I don't think that Mirage got turned into a KSI drone. Typically the, the logic that people throw in there is that Oh, red KSI drone is red and Mirage is red so therefore Mirage got killed and turned into KSI drone. And yeah, I mean I know there's more evidence like you know the little blades that they have but what Autobots and Decepticons in the movies don't have blades? I mean Shockwave has blades, Sideswipe has blades, Dread has blades, Optimus has blades. Like, to be fair, that could be anyone's- the dreads have blades. Like, to be fair, that could be anyone's blades. And second of all, um, this statement contradicts what we do know about the state of Mirage at the beginning of the movie. The cards clearly state that he hasn't been hunted down yet, and by the time we see KSI for the first time, they're well into production with their fourth wave of, you know, uh, KSI prototypes, Gabatron and Stinger. So meaning that they had these red drones for a long time, and the fact that Cemetery Wind didn't kill Mirage yet, or at all, 
is very important because they are the ones who are supplying um, KSI with all the Autobot and Decepticon corpses for them to build their own Frankenstein army. So if Mirage hasn't been hunted down yet, then they have no access to Mirage and therefore the whole point of Mirage getting turned into the red KSI drone, it's, you know, mute, it's invalid. Another piece of evidence, and this one's more meta that people throw in there, is that Mirage can't appear or, well, it's probably dead because his voice actor, um, Francesco Quinn, died. So therefore, because his voice actor's gone, he is not coming back and therefore he's dead. Which, it's, you know, it's in a way kind of reasonable, but this little theory slash statement kind of loses value when you look at the movie voice cast. Megatron was voiced by Hugo Weaving for the first three Transformers movies, and then for Age of Extinction and TLK, he was voiced by Frank Welker. And Megatron was a big character in the movies, okay? It's not like we're talking about a father type of character that's only there to get killed. Megatron is a big de- I mean, yeah, I mean, Megatron, he is there to get killed, but let's not talk about that. He's a major character. We're not talking about someone like Mirage who has a very minor role. If they can replace big characters like Megatron, Sam Waves, voices in between films, then what makes you think that, you know, um... Mirage's voice actor tragically passing away is gonna stop them from, you know, adding Mirage in a future movie or just saying that he's still alive. I don't think it has any effect on that. If anything, this kind of just proves the fact that the voice actors is like kind of replaceable in the movies. I mean, you have, you know, people like Peter Cullen who voices Optimus Prime, the voices for Iron High Ratchet are pretty um, iconic, they haven't been replaced. But my point stands, they can replace voice actors if they feel like it. And, you know, them leaving or being replaced with someone else doesn't stop these characters from coming back. I mean, Lethfield had a different voice actor in Dark of the Moon and for Age of Extinction, he wasn't voiced by John DeMago, the guy who voiced him in Dark of the Moon. So what people like to throw this as evidence that, you know, Mirage is dead because his voice actor's dead, I mean, no, that's not how it works. That might mean they might use him a little less because until they can find someone to replace him, but that doesn't mean he's dead. It doesn't affect what's going on in-universe. I frankly think the reason why Mirage was never used post Dark of the Moon is because of his vehicle mode. Michael Bay has this really annoying habit of getting these supercars, which I mean sometimes you know it works. I like you know a lot of these cars being Transformers, but sometimes it works against the producers because getting the license for the Ferrari was very very difficult, and that's actually the reason why the studio series Mirage doesn't transform into a Ferrari. Because they couldn't get the license for it, so that's why it took us so long to get a screen. Accurate Mirage. Something cool about Mirage is that he transforms into a Ferrari, a very fast vehicle. But you know what's also fast? That's right, everyone. This video's sponsor, E Win Racing, who were kind enough to give me this amazing, good looking, thematically red gaming chair. I received this chair in the mail not too long ago, and assembling it was really easy, so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. But it feels great. I've been using it for about a month now since I got it. Squeaker has tried to steal this chair from me, like, I don't know, like around 15 times. The chair can go up and down, you can rotate it, have the little armrest go up and down from side to side. You can lean back with it, but be careful not to lean back way too much or otherwise you'll fall just like I almost did. It's so good that even my figures steal it from me. Annabelle style. This is a very big and tall, heavy duty gaming chip which weighs 400 LBS. I suck with measurements, so I'll just pretend like I know what that means. You're not a true gamer till you have a gaming chair, so what better way to start your gaming career than by purchasing a gaming chair from Ewin Racing using the promo code FIRE20 for 20% off in the gaming chair of your choosing. Now you can stop being a loser and throw away that filthy wooden stool and now be a winner and use that sweet chat gaming chair. Be a mirage, not a side swipe. So yeah, thank you to Ewing Racing for sponsoring this video. Hopefully I get another chair for Squeaker someday. And make sure to use the promo code once again in the description down below and in the comments down below. Anyways, now back to the much less interesting video. As much as I like Sideswipe, I think, and I'm pretty confident to say that Sideswipe is definitely dead in the Beavers by the end of it. But for Mirage, there's more evidence, there's stronger evidence pointing to the fact that he's alive. The counterpoints for Mirage not coming back are kind of minor. I think the biggest um, 
point that you could throw for the whole Mirage being actually dead um, argument is that he didn't appear in any of the movies post Dark of the Moon, unlike characters like Brains, Wheelie, Topspin. Him, Sideswipe, and Roadbuster are actually the only characters that haven't been seen post Dark of the Moon. And frankly, because of the nature of Rise of the Beast and the Bumblebee movie, you know, them being reboots, we're never gonna see Mirash again, so even if he did survive, he might as well be dead, because we're never gonna see him again. Also, one more thing, because I know people are gonna bring this up. Um, in the comic adaptation and the novel adaptation, Mirage dies <laughs> in two different ways. Um, in the comics, he gets decapitated by Soundwave, and in the novels, he gets decapitated by Starscream. My guess is that Michael Bay really had it out for Mirage until he changed his mind halfway through or something. And people might want to say, oh yeah, he dies in the comics and this, so therefore he won't be coming back. Well, I mean, um, those are comics and novels, and technically, the comics and novels usually get ignored by the movies. So it's not a very strong piece of evidence to say that Mirage died when he clearly didn't in the movies, he survived to the very, to the very end. And also, technically though, the novel and comic fall under the realm of cut content, because they're working with an earlier version of the script. That's why we see certain things that we don't see in the movie, like the twins appearing, the dreads hitchhiking a ride aboard the Sanctum, and Starscreen desecrating Wheeljack's corpse. I am not kidding, that's a thing that actually happens. But yeah, it's all, you know, from an early version of the script, so technically it doesn't count and it can be used as evidence for Mirage being dead. Just because he was planned to die originally in the film doesn't mean that he's officially dead, that is not how it works. But if people were to tell me that they believe that Mirage is one of those characters that did survive by the end of the papers, honestly I believe it. I, I think there's stronger evidence than Sideswipe. Um, I'm so sorry for all the Sideswap fans out there. I know Sideswap is like a cult leader at this point. People worship him like as if he were sideways himself. But no. Sideswap is unfortunately done so. But Mirage, the character that ironically has the most evidence for him being alive, doesn't get talked about much. Which is weird because, I mean, the movie fans are pretty obsessed with the whole mystery of, you know, which Autobots survive post Dark of the Moon. So hopefully this video raises some awareness to that. Don't worry, Mirage. Everyone may have forgotten about you, but I haven't. Hashtag justice for Mirage. I like to think that he just went into hiding, he's just chilling on some random island, just watching the sunset as Cybertron is slowly falling to the earth to destroy humanity which betrayed him and killed many of his friends. But just cause we won't see Mirage again doesn't mean he's not coming back period. Um, the Transformers Rise of Unicron fan film is actually adding Mirage into their movie. Mostly cause I um, convinced them to do it. AKA accidentally forced them to do it. But there's still a lot of love for Mirage and the fact that he's appearing on the arguably biggest fan project for, of the community so far. It's a good sign. And hell, while Mirage from the Babers is gone and we're never gonna see him again, at least he in a way is coming back in Rise of the Beast. Granted, it's not gonna be the same Mirage because he won't transform into Ferrari and it's gonna have a completely different personality. But yeah guys, that's it for Mirage. I just wanted to do a video talking about him and why, you know, he's more likely than not alive. I I will put money on it that he's actually alive, canonically. Just hiding out there somewhere. But yeah, after hearing me ramble for all this time, do you guys believe that Mirage is still alive? Or do you guys believe that he's actually dead? Honestly, after looking at the evidence, I'm pretty convinced he's alive. Like, you can't, I mean, you, you can't tell me otherwise, it's your opinion, but the evidence for him being dead is just not strong enough. I'm sorry, so for all of you Mirage haters out there, I'm sorry he's not dead, question mark. But yeah, that's it for this video guys, I'm recording this very very late at night so I need to go to sleep now. Make sure to use the promo code in the description down below, FIRE20 for 20% off in a sweet gaming chair. They even come in Mirage colors. You see guys, I, my, my sponsorship is thematic, so you should definitely buy it. In fact, you should totally buy it, it will make me a very happy guy and then it will allow me to feed Squeaker. Squeaker, are you hungry? Yes, please feed me! You see, he is hungry fellas, so buy now. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, guys. Anyways, before we go, guys, shout out to our amazing patrons Xavier the God, Stitch Productions, Scrub Lordo, All Spark Studio, Epic Nin, Laurel Racer, Transformers Gears and Brawn, Optimation Reviews, and a bigger shout out to our two big bold patrons, Jordan the Great and X 23 who donated a amount of money. If you guys want to shout out your subs, all you need to do is donate to my Patreon. 
The link to it will be in the description down below and in the comments down below. If you choose to donate to my Patreon, you can collab with me in some of my videos or your videos. You can request some artwork from me, request some video topics, get exclusive access to early videos, and a bunch of other stuff. But keep in mind that it is entirely optional since freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you to my patrons for donating, it's much appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.